Yeah, Aries. Um, somebody was being sneaky, right? But they snuck away from you with the Seven of Swords. But now they're keeping their eye on you. The Three of Pentacles is here with the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords. So this person moved away from you, possibly thought you were going to chase them, and you didn't. So, yeah. This is somebody who's wanting to come back is what I'm seeing here. But what we're going to do is we're going to check on your horoscope and then we're just going to jump into your reading and we're going to see what messages um, the universe got for you. But let's check your horoscope. Alexa, what is Aries horoscope for today? Here is the horoscope for Aries today. It may be time for some of you to pay attention to the needs of your home as the moon transits your fourth house of home and family. Parents, grandparents and children need your consideration, as do those who live under the same roof. Whether you have a large, extended family or a couple of flatmates, you need to test the emotional waters at home. Okay, Aries, so there you have it. And that is your horoscope for today. So we're going to jump into your reading and we're going to see what the universe has to say about you, your person, and what actions you could be expecting from them. Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to pull some cards for you guys today and we're going to see what messages the universe has for you. So I just want to quickly tell you guys, if someone is reaching out to you um, through an email address asking you, do you want a reading? It's not me. Okay. It doesn't matter if they have my face on it or not. It is not me because I would never solicit you guys and ask you, do you want a reading from me? Okay. So please report whoever this person is. It's a scammer. I think the email address is like Bev Teller 523 or something like that. Um, but my email address is Bev Teller 522 and all of my information is in the about section um, on my YouTube page. Okay. So yeah, don't give these people your money and report them. All right. So let's just jump in. Oh, right when I said, let's just jump in. Did y'all see those cards just fly out of the deck? Okay. No, let's just talk about it. <laughs> and I, I mean, I pre-shuffle for you guys, but all right. So this is what the universe wants to start with. So we have fights, arguing all the time, not on the same page, a clash of personality. We also have family issues. We have heart to heart, heart to heart conversation, being vulnerable with each other, finding a workable compromise. And we have friends, friends know about it, asking friends for advice, friends interfering. So whoever you guys are dealing with, they could be telling their friends about your uh, situation. This person could have some family issues that they're dealing with. And if you guys aren't talking, this may be a reason why they're holding back. Or this is a reason why they've been distant, even if you guys are talking. Maybe this was someone that you used to text every day. Okay, you used to talk to this person, whether you text them, whether it was by phone, whether this is someone that you date online. I feel like you had a lot of communication with this person at one point and then it just like died down out of nowhere. Okay, and I felt like when you were questioning this person about it you guys were getting into fights, into arguments, okay? Because this person doesn't want to tell you what's truly... Sorry about that, guys. That card slipped on the floor. This person doesn't want to tell you what's truly going on with them. So um, I feel like they're hiding behind something here. So let's see what the universe wants you to know about this person and what's going on with them and what action they could possibly be bringing to you guys' connection. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Aries? What do they need to know about their person and their situation? Nightmare. This person may be going through something that may feel like a nightmare to them. And they're holding back on it. Yep. Knowing they fucked up. I feel like they know they fucked up this situation. So this is what I'm seeing here. This person has some family issues, right? They could be married or just living with someone else. This could be with their baby mom um, or something like that. Take it how it resonates. Everyone's situation is going to be different. But I feel like whatever this situation is that they're in, they see it as a nightmare. Something that they can't get out of. They're possibly stressed out about it. They know they fucked up a situation with you. So they feel like they have to make something right with you. And then they have to deal with whatever family issues that they're having. Now, if this person's having family issues and it doesn't involve um, someone that they're actually 
romantic with. This could just be in general. It could be having some family issues with a mother or father, um, like a sister or brother or something like that. Something's going on in their family and it's taking their attention off of you guys' connection. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Aries? Yep, this person's going to come towards you and apologize, Aries. So expect an apology from this person. Now, what I'm what I'm picking up on though is that this person may try to gauge your madness first before they apologize. They may try to see if you're mad or how mad you are with them and whether an apology will help out the situation because for some of you I feel like you're dealing with someone who's a bit selfish and narcissistic um and it's like they're not thinking about your feelings right now they're only concerned about theirs but I just feel like if this person knows that you're not going to deal with them anymore because of what's going on they're going to come in and try to apologize and make this right because I feel like this may be someone who doesn't want to lose you, but they know they didn't handle a situation correctly when it comes to you. We have wanting to make things right, doing anything to win you over, a genuine apology. Spare what messages do you have for Aries? What do they need to know about their situation? Yeah, this person loves you. They do. They feel like no one else compares to you. We have, I love you more than I ever found a way to say to you. And no one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. And we also have not over. So this person that you're dealing with, they're feeling it's not over. But they haven't talked to you yet. So they don't know what you're going to say to them or how you're going to take this situation. Because like I said, again, they know they fucked this up. And I feel like this is someone who truly loves you, but they don't handle things correctly. Like the way they do things is sort of, you know, messy and it's unstable. And I feel like they bring that energy towards you and you're like, you know what? I love you, but I'm not going to deal with this type of energy. Like I don't have to. And I feel like you're going to make this person um, realize that because I feel like some of you are setting some boundaries with this person or, and you're holding back. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Yeah, they, they may even be looking you up to see what it is that you're up to because they haven't heard from you. They don't know what it is that you're feeling and thinking right now. So and just expect for someone to come towards you wanting to work something out. We have looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. We also have in their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing, and we have working it out. Working things out, a final effort to save the love, trying to rekindle the spark. So someone's going to try to rekindle what you guys have. They know they screwed this up. Like, you don't even have to tell them. They already know. And I feel like this person could be a bit embarrassed. You see how, like, in both of these cards, this person has their head down? It's like they may not want to face you. All right, so let's get some tarot and see what else this person is feeling and thinking and what other messages the universe may have for you all right sorry about that guys i had to respond to a text message from my son Spirit, what messages do you have oh yeah communication coming in look at that eight of wands some of you may be dealing with someone who lives at a distance and you really don't get to see this person that much Maybe you talk to them a lot. Maybe you text them. Um, maybe you guys uh, send DMs, you know, back and forth. But um, this is somebody who's already made up their mind. We have judgment, Scorpio energy, and we also have the six of pentacles. So this is someone who's wanting to come in and give you an equal give and take. But I'm also feeling like Aries, this person has a lot of issues. Look at this. Like this may be someone who comes in to fix this situation with you or try to fix the situation with you, but their problems are still there. And I feel like this is something that's going to piss you off and sort of maybe stress you out because it's like one minute this person wants to come towards you and offer you this six of pentacles, right? And then the next minute, they're like this, the four of cups. And even though they see you as a missed opportunity and no one compares to you um, and they don't feel like they can do better than you, they still have their issues that they're dealing with. So what messages do you have for Aries? Just what they need to know about their person and the situation. 
Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords. Some of you may have even cut this person off because it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, and you just were sick of this person. So maybe you stopped talking to them and now they're worried. Page of Wands. Yeah, this is the good news card. Um, some of you also could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. You're going to get a message from this person, like for sure. The Emperor. This is your energy, Aries. Yeah, because you're taking back your control. I feel like with the Queen of Swords and the Emperor and the Page of Wands, this person knows that you're not playing. Some of you, like I said, could be dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or this is your energy. Because when the Queen of Swords pops up in a reading, she's normally like cutting people off. He or she, because the cards aren't gender-based, right? But they're normally cutting people off. They're not taking any crap from anybody. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Oh, this person is still passionate about you, though. They still want this. Three of Cups, Ace of Wands. Okay, this person may even be very sexually attracted to you. And it's like they may be thinking um, about not wanting anybody else to be around you or have you. Yep, Page of Swords again. Page of Swords is here. Like this person's keeping their eye on you. And we did have that this person was looking you up when um, we were looking at the message cards. Right? So... You have this energy here twice. This person's keeping their eye on you. Not only are they keeping their eye on you, but they're coming up with some sort of idea. You see these clouds behind this um, page of swords. This is like the thought process. And so they're thinking about something. They're like, how can I get back in Aries good graces? I know I screwed this up. And they probably feel like you don't want to hear from them right now. Like you really might not have much to say to them because of how they handle a situation. What messages, what messages do you have for Aries? Mm. Listen, y'all, you cannot make this shit up. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this person was being, I think, um, for some of you, your person was being very petty at some point, okay? And they were holding back because they were going through some things, or they, you guys were going through some things, right? And then they probably were going through a set of, um, a set. They were going through some issues on their own, you know, some family issues because that card did come out. But now this person has been doing some thinking, okay? And with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups, some of you could be dealing with the Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Look at you guys' cards. Eight of Cups reverse. Whoever this was that's being petty or whoever this is, rather, that's being petty. Mm -hmm. Look at the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups sitting here. Now they want to come back and offer you love. They're, they had a chance to think about the situation and they're like, nah, I don't think I want to give Aries up. You know, I, I know I may have pulled away from them or they may have even said that this was done and walked away. But that Eight of Cups is in reverse. Could be a younger water sign you guys are dealing with too. Yep. This person thinks that you're gone because you're holding back with the high priestess. You're trusting your intuition. You know this person is being sneaky and you're gonna allow them to come towards you. I don't feel like you're gonna reach out to this person at all. So maybe you could be dealing with the Pisces. So if they're waiting for you, they may be waiting, Aries, because I don't think you're going. Yeah, this person wants to work on something with you. Here they come too with the Knight of Wands energy. But this energy is kind of flighty. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, where again, remember when I told you guys, what card was that in the... Um, and the message cards where I was like, they may come in and then, you know, they still have their set of issues and problems. Or was that right here? I think that might have been right here with the four of cups in um, another card. But I feel like this person with this knight of wands energy, they're going to come towards you. They're going to put some action behind their, their words or they're going to put some action in the situation. So if there are no words and you guys aren't speaking right now, they're going to come in and try to make this work. I also feel like your person with this eight of pentacles is hard at work. Maybe they just found a new job or they're trying to find a job or they're trying to find ways to make money. Okay, they could be having some money issues. So what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Aries? Yeah, some of you are dealing with a fire sign such as yourself, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, a Libra. I feel like for some of you, if you're dealing with a fire sign, 
they could have some court issues. Maybe their baby mom is taken on the court or their baby father or something's happening here. Um, but this person is going to take a leap of faith towards you. They see something as being risky, though. What is this that they see as being risky? Maybe they're connected. Maybe they're married to someone else and they see it as being risky. And so their back may be turned now. But with the full card being here, this person is going to come towards you. They already know it. It's like they already know this. They're just not saying anything. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Give me more, Spirit. Give me more. Why is the full and the justice card here? Oh, that card, like it wanted to flip out and then it went back in. Yeah, this person's moving slow. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician, a Virgo or a um, Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with. But this person is trying to manifest you back. I feel like somebody here may be trying to manifest you back telepathically. Like this could be your twin flame or something for some reason. I don't know. I'm picking up twin flame or soulmate energy. Um, this person may not want to come in and admit that they were wrong. So they may not want to come in and willingly apologize. So they're sort of trying to manifest you back in some kind of way. You know, just thinking about you a lot. But they do want this. They're moving slow, too. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, uh, Capricorn energy here. So let's get one more. Spirit, give me one more for Aries. Give me one more for Aries. Oh, what was that that flipped around? Yeah. This person knows. See, this is somebody that knows they have to make changes. And I know I said one more, but I took three. <laughs> this person knows, Aries, that they have to make some changes. But they still love you. They're making decisions right now. It could be a Gemini or a Scorpio here. But the death card is in reverse. This person hasn't changed. They haven't. But I feel like this is someone who truly loves you. They just don't know how to um, show love and emotions in an effective way that's going to help you guys' connection. Look at this person juggling with the Two of Pentacles. This could be money issues too that they have. Someone may feel like, um, you know, unless their money is right, like they can't focus or um, they can't focus and concentrate on a relationship until they get their money right. I don't know why I'm picking up the energy here that somebody may not have a place to stay. They may be, they may got, may have gotten kicked out or something. And so now they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with their money. All right. Temperance. Yeah. Patience. Um, the universe is saying be patient when it comes to this situation. This person is stressed out about something with the Ten of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. It could be a family situation that's stressing this person out again. Okay. Somebody here, money is like really, really screwed up. And it's affecting um, where they live or it's affecting a marriage. But this person is wanting you to be patient with them. Okay. It could be a Sagittarius here that's wanting or needing your patience. Um and this person's going to come back towards you. But again, they haven't changed. They still have problems. They still have issues. Okay. But I feel like, you know, despite all of that, this person loves you. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Aries. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cries Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.